Hello, everybody. This is Gerald Salenti, and it's uh, Tuesday, October 1st, 2024. And very shortly, a new Trends Journal will be out. And this is the cover of this week's Trends Journal. There for all to see. Billionaires, billions of bombs, not a penny to occupy peace. Not a cent, not a cent from these arrogant, arrogant, arrogant billionaires for peace. And we need peace now like I've never seen in my life. I grew up during the uh, Cuban mil Missile Crisis. I'll never forget, I was in high school. And they, the fear was there. This is way worse than the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Israel war is ramping up to levels that we had forecast in your trends journal now going back since October of 2023 after Hamas attacked. Yep. Facts are all there. And now it's ramped up big time. We had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful I should say, excellent peace and freedom rally up here in Kingston, New York, last Saturday. The people, all races, creeds, and colors, different ages, kind as can be, caring as can be, generous as can be. But we need, out of 332 million people in America, Eh, about 10 million to take to the streets. Not a big number. Where are all the people? Where are all the people for peace? All these people that believe in their religions and what the Bible says about peace and thou shalt not kill, all got locked you up. We are in the most perilous times of life. Scott Ritter made it clear. I made it clear. Judge Napolitano made it clear. Joe Loria made it clear. This is serious. And now, well, you know what the news is. Netanyahu says Iran made big mistake with missile attack and will pay for it. The Times of Israel. Oh, Iran made big, big mistake. Hey, but it's okay for Israel to bomb the fucking shit out of Beirut. They could kill whoever they want. Oh, I forgot. They're the chosen people. Save that fucking shit and shove it up your ass. Listen to Naomi Wolf, a Jewish woman. That's not what God meant. It doesn't have anything to do with ethnicity. It has to do with people living up to the spirit of God. Not murderous bastards like Netanyahu. And I better be careful because they may kill me. Like that. If they could get in the Sarala like they got him, and this guy's down in a, what, a 60-foot deep bunker, they could blow my fucking brains out in a blink of an eye. And the United States will support it. Because the United States supports war. War wars all my life. What was my favorite war? Well, I don't remember. I was young enough to remember the Korean War. I was only born in 1946. Oh, I remember the Vietnam War. Oh, I remember all of Bill Clinton's wars, the Yugoslav War, the Kosovo War. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bombs away over Baghdad. Every time that little dick got caught was peckering up the ass of some chick or whatever. Oh, George Bush's wars. Oh, his daddy's war, the first Iraq war. Oh, they're going to kill my daddy. I'll do the second Iraq war. Oh, the Afghan war. Oh, the Yemen war, the Syria war, the Libyan war. Oh, I forgot, you know, war after war after war. Yemen, on and on and on. And now the Israel war. Where are the people? Where are the people? Where are the people? Where are the people? Are the people? Don't you see what's going on? Yeah. 
Israel warns of consequences after Iran launches 181 missiles in major attack times of Israel. Quote, we should strike Khamenei, senior Israeli, Israeli official, calls for action against Iran's leadership. Jerusalem Post, official. Official piece of shit. IDF vows to strike heavily across Middle East after Iranian assault. Jerusalem Post. Hey, you see gold prices? What a surprise, huh? Why are they going up? Because the people that know know how bad this is, and that's the world's number one safe haven asset. Oh, we've only been saying this since the beginning of the year, a golden year for gold. And what's gold as we went on the air? Oh, only $2,664 an ounce, up over $620 an ounce since we made that trend forecast. Again, I know others said it was going to go up. No one said the why like we said, and no magazine in the world had forecast a golden year for gold. Nobody, no magazine, no media. And the S&P went down today. The NASDAQ dropped 1%. Why? Because of the Middle East crisis. Yeah, this is serious. And then, U.S. helped thwart Iranian attacks, reasserts ironclad support. This is from Al Jazeera. And again, as you see, we go to the Jerusalem Post, we go to Haaretz, we go to the Times of Israel, oh, and we go to the Arab News, and we go to the Persian News, and we go to the Chinese, we go to the Japanese, we go all over the world. So, from Al Jazeera, the United States said it helped thwart an Iranian ballistic missile attack with a senior White House official, a senior White House official, little scumbag, arrogant piece of shit, Jake Sullivan, official. Who the fuck are you talking to with this official shit, official pieces of fucking clown crappers? Oh, you like the COVID war they gave you? Yeah. We are going to war. And just as people marched off to the COVID war, they're going to march off to this war because they're selling the hatred against Iran and the Arabs. The United States has said it helped toward an Iranian ballistic missile attack with a senior official telling reporters, prostitutes, that the U.S. military, quote, coordinated closely with an Israeli counterpart to shoot down the projectiles. You were national security advisor. National security advisor. Could you imagine this little fuck being our national security advisor? Could you imagine this little fuck being our national security advisor? I'm a little fuck. I suck into the system. Quote, U.S. naval destroyers joined Israeli air defense units in firing interceptors to shoot down inbound missiles. In short, Based on what we know at this point, this attack appears to have been defeated and effective. You know what that is? Bullshit detected. Take precautions. This is one fucking day, shithead. One fucking day. You got it? You got it? Rather than them coming out and saying, we have to stop this. Yes, we defended them. We need peace on earth. We need peace right now. No, 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 no. Fuck you, Salenti. You're, you found Occupy Peace. You're a warrior for the Prince of Peace. Fuck! They're going to put me up on the cross? Huh? No, they'll probably just blow my brains out. Yep. This was first and foremost the result, you ready? Of the professionalism of the Israeli military but in no small part because of the skilled work of the United States military and meticulous joint planning in anticipation of the attack. Look how they're fucking bragging about this. People are going to forget how this started. Hey, you remember about a week ago? Oh, Israel killed, what, about 1,500 people with those pagers? Oh, that's all forgotten about. Oh, that, uh, that um, Panetta... The CIA murderous bastard called it a terror attack that Israel did. 
Even he was disgusted with it. Totally forgotten. What's happening today is going to be totally forgotten. Tracking trends is the understanding of where we are, how we got here to see where we're going. People will not remember this, how it all led up to this. Remember, all began with the Hamas attack on October 7, 2023, almost a year ago. And now it's bombs away over Beirut. After Washington's view was on a possible Israeli retaliation, you ready? Sullivan said, quote, we want to have some deep consultations with the Israelis. You ready? You ready for this? You ready for this shit out of this little scumbag's mouth? And I call it to him into his face. He is anti-American. They are anti-American. At the rally, I read George Washington's farewell address. A lot of it. A lot of it. And how he says, do not become involved in any foreign entanglements. Yep. It's a very important source of strength and security, cherish public credit. One method of preserving it is to use it sparingly as possible, avoiding occasions of expense and cultivating peace. Cultivating peace. Yep. Observe good faith and good justice toward all nations. Cultivate peace and harmony with all. The nation which indulges toward another an habitual hatred or an habitual fondness is some degree a slave. Slave land, dear, little Sullivan boy. We are proud of the actions that we have taken alongside of Israel to protect and defend Israel. Israel is not my country. They made up this fucking shit with the Balfour Declaration of 1917. Read about it in detail. Go over there and fight. Everybody that wants to support Israel, go over there and fight. I am an American. I honor the founding fathers who fought for our freedom that they are robbing from us. We have made it clear there will be consequences, severe consequences to this attack. Not a word about peace. And we will work with Israel to make that case. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? All right. I'm not going to go on with this because there's a lot more. Your trends journal. You got to read the economic update. The, the world is going down. The data is all there. The PMI numbers showing it from Japan to China to Germany to the U.S. All of them. It's going down big. When all else fails, they take you to war. And it's failing. And why gold is going up and where it's going. Why oil prices are the wild card that could change this whole game. Then it trends on the global economic front. Again, this is over a hundred week we're doing when the economy fails, jobs go with it. The layoffs are enormous. And again, when you're showing the data, you can see it all there. <laughs> Germany's economy is going to end the year in recession. Italy is lucky if it grows 1%. It probably won't. They're going down everywhere. Oh, Sweden cut their, their, their interest rates. Switzerland just cut their interest rates. They're all cutting interest rates. The economies were artificially propped up with all the cheap money, all the zero and negative interest rate policy when they launched the COVID war. That created the high inflation. Then they put the interest rates way up. And that's creating dragflation, declining economic growth and rising inflation. And again, as this Israel war ramps up, oh, you just saw oil prices today went up almost 4%. There's still only around $74 a barrel. This war escalates with Iran. You're going to see oil prices go to $130 a barrel plus. It's going to crash the global equity markets and the global economy. End of story. And again, gold prices are going to skyrocket whole section on the Israeli war who they killed and on and on. And there's a great article we put in here from an Israeli journalist who criticizes countries quote, barbaric glee over Nasrallah's assassination. 
Can't call him an anti Semite. It's from Haharetz. And another article that's not being reported in the American media because you, they spew out the crap a little Jakey Sullivan, jerk off Jakey. Nasrallah well prepared for an Israeli invasion. And again, how Net Netanyahu backtracked on a ceasefire deal with Hezbollah. Palestinian lives don't matter. We keep adding up the death toll. That's out of the news now. It's kill slaughtering people like crazy over there. <sighs> yep. And featured guest article by Phil Giraldi, a real true man. Guy was a former top CIA cat who told George Bush there were no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Bush told him to leave the office and this top CIA guy quit. His article, let's force Anthony Blinken to resign. Little bullshit Blinken, the little daddy's boy. Another daddy's boy. It's one big fucking club and you ain't in it like George Collins said. He didn't say fucking one big club and you ain't in it. But people don't like my language about fuck this and fuck. Listen to George Collins. He throws out the fuck more than I do. The little Blinken boy selling the bullshit that there was peace deal, peace deal coming, peace deal coming as the United States keeps supplying the deadly weapons for Israel to keep bombing Gaza and Lebanon. And now Iran. Hidden agendas. Beware of the government's push for digital currency. John Anisha Whitehead. Article by Dr. Joseph McCullough. Drinking moderate why even drinking why even moderate drinking is harming to your health and i have that vino every day <laughs> ah this article you got to see by gregory manorino federal reserves terminal phase of the economy and the market trends in technocracy by joe duran trends in cryptos by duran trends in geopolitics what's going on in the ukraine war what's going on in japan the escalation of our war with China. Could you imagine this escalation going on as this is going on? And again, what's going on with the uh, with Putin saying we're going nuclear if the United States and Europe keeps giving weapons for Kiev to strike deeper into Russia? Trends I view. Oxfam, world's top 1%, owns more wealth. You ready? The 95% of humanity which brings you back to the cover of this week's Trends Journal. Yep, billionaires, billions for bombs, not a penny to occupy peace. Arrogant pieces of shit because they go, I'm a billionaire, you know. How about doing, I, I'm, I'm not a billionaire. I'm not even, poof, I've never worked hard in my life. I gave everything I can and do everything I can for Occupy Peace. Yeah. And I thank everybody that donated. People were very generous. Everybody was so generous. Please donate to Occupy Peace. We got to, we need, we need, again, you got to be realistic about this. To make it happen, you need about 50, 60, 80, 100 million dollars. If the billionaires gave a billion dollars for peace, we'd have peace tomorrow. But now, only billions for bombs in the military-industrial complex. All they do is spew out shit. They don't put their money where their mouth is. I do, and you do. And please subscribe to the Trends Journal if you want to know history before it happens. We're giving you what nobody else is. Nobody, no magazine comes close to it. And again, please hit the uh, button over here for the, you know, the link thing. So you get the message that we're going on the air and that you could tell other people about it because we're getting blacklisted. We're getting shadow banned. I'm heartbroken to see where this world is going. I've been at this going on 45 years. I put my trend forecasting track record up against anybody in the world. We are on the verge of nuclear annihilation. If we don't stop this, it's going to be hell on earth. 
Just like they robbed us of our freedom with the COVID war, you haven't seen anything yet. And you heard that little scumbag John Kerry last week saying we have to stop free speech, that we have to kill the First Amendment, basically. Yeah. And tomorrow, don't forget to tune in with Salenti and the judge. Judge Napolitano, boy, he brought down the crowd, as did Scott Ritter and Joe Loria. Scott Ritter, man, a heart of gold and a real man, a real fighter. And Judge Napolitano, think about it. That's it. A couple of us. There's, you know, there's a number of us, but no, none of the, none of the, none of the billionaires. You know, there's the, there's the uh, many people out there that are doing what they can. But we need, we need tens of millions, hundreds of millions apiece. So thank you for tuning in. And again, it's, you just don't say prayers. You got to do something to make it happen. Yeah, see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time.